y'all what up y'all back with another story time it's cold as fuck out here man in new york and i'm out here in the freezer so i'm gonna tell y'all a story about the time i was out in california i got an la story man i was out in california this was around the time i was signed to warner brothers this is around 2000 2001 man so i'm out in california with with the homie, the big homie, Chris Pringle, man. You know, Chris Pringle. You know, I heard he passed away, rested dead. I hope not. But uh, I hadn't spoke to him in a long time. But the homie, you know what I'm saying? I'm out in Cali handling business. The homie like, yo, man, I'm going to come scoop you. And we going to go to the hood, homie. We going to go out to the hood, homie. We going to go smoke some weed. We going to go smoke some weed by these freaks' house. You know what I'm saying, cuz? We going to go out there and we going to I'm going to pick you up in my core and you going to get in and we going to drive down to South Central and we going to smoke this ganja. Matter of fact, it wasn't ganja. What the fuck they call that shit? We we, we going to smoke this chronic out, 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 by these, out by these bitches' crib. So I was like, well, I said, all right. So Nick came pick me up from the hotel. I'm thinking I'm fresh. I had a red t-shirt on. Some light blue jean shorts and some red and white Air Max. I was fresh, nigga. You know what I'm saying? So, boom. And nigga came pick me up. He kept looking at me. Now, he big crit. You know what I'm saying? Nigga kept looking at me like, doing one of these things. Like, he driving, looking at me. He just talking regular. You know what I'm saying? We pull up. We pull up to South Central. Now, check this out. If y'all ever seen Boys in the Hood and Menace and shit like that, yo. Yo. If you've been to California, to LA, and you only been to the tourist shits, you don't know what I'm talking about, bro. I went to the hood, nigga. Nigga, that shit looked just like the movie, nigga. There was houses with lawns, and the lawns had no grass. It was all dirt in the lawn. It was crazy. You know what I'm saying? So, we pull up to this, to this chick's crib. We get in the, uh, we knock on the door. This bad shorty opened the door. She was bad. You know what I'm saying? They hugged and shit. She introduced me. I came in. It was mad bad broads in there. Like, maybe like six broads. They was bad and a couple niggas. You know what I'm saying? So while we walking in, they all grabbing lawn chairs to come outside, to come out to the front. So I'm like, oh, so we must be smoking out front then. You know what I'm saying? So them niggas go inside. They all grab their shit. They grabbing chairs, the bitches is grabbing chairs, all that. Bring them out, and they sitting them out on the lawn. So I'm standing up. I ain't have a chair. You know what I'm saying? I'm standing up. There's a couple niggas standing up. You know what I'm saying? We all just kicking it, laughing and shit. This nigga's like, hey, this 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 my homie from New York. Hey, he go in on that mic. This my this this my homie from New York. You know what I'm saying? Dad homies. This my this my nigga from New York. You know what I'm saying? Yo, this is no diss to the Cali niggas. I love them niggas. I love Cali, man. I'm just, I just like to impersonate people and shit. You know what I'm saying? Cause y'all niggas stay trying to make fun of us. Every time you meet somebody that ain't from New York, they're like, "Yo, what's up, B? What's up, B?" <laughs> you go. I got jokes too, nigga. So yeah, man. So we standing outside. I start to notice that cars start pulling down the block and whenever they got up to where we was at, they would stop. <gasps> niggas would look. And they keep it moving. I swear to God, it was like 10 cars that did that. So I'm shook. Like, I'm like, yo, what the fuck is going on? Last time, a car pulled up. He pulled up. He said something to me. Some crip shit he said to me. You know what I'm saying? And then sped off. I'm shook, nigga. I ain't even gonna hold you. I ain't the toughest nigga in the world, and I ain't pussy neither. But I was scared to death, nigga. I'm in South Central. I seen this shit on the fucking TV. You know what I'm saying? Nigga, I'm 3,000 miles away from home. It ain't like I get on the phone and call Big Brooklyn. Nigga, I'm out here with the homie. I don't know if he gonna fucking switch up on me. Like, I don't know, nigga. They dying laughing, dying laughing. The girls is laughing. Like, I felt like, you're yeah, all gonna laugh at you. Ha, 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 ha. Everybody pointing. That's how I felt. You know what I'm saying? I'm standing there feeling dumb as fuck. You know what big homie said to me? He said, hey, cuz. He said, hey, cuz. You know if I wasn't standing here with you, you'd be in a puddle right now. Right, cuz? I'm looking at this nigga like, and they laughing. I'm like, nigga, that's not funny, nigga. No, that's not funny. No. 
Needless to say, I got up out of there. Everything was cool, but man, look, LA different, man. You gotta be careful what you're wearing, man, because it's different. I don't know if it's changed any now. You know, like I said, that was like 20 years ago, but brother.